not today. It's finally Thursday, which means tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> not that I live for the weekend because I don't. <laughs> Listen, I'm coming to you today because I, can we break it down to basics? There are some people in this lifestyle, and even if they're just, um, well, we won't talk about who they are, but they're confused. Here's what they're confused about. They're confused about juices versus, versus blending. Blending and juicing is not the same thing. <laughs> okay, so here's what it is. First of all, they're both great ways to flood your body with fresh, ripe fruits and vegetables and greens, which is your what your body wants. You know, a lot of people are in this, they, they get into this and they don't even try to see the long-term health benefits of it. They just want to see like the quick benefits, the quick fix. Well, I'll tell you what the quick fix is for your weight loss. It is flooding your body with the nutrients it needs because as long as your body is nutritionally deficient you are never going to be satisfied with what you're eating I don't care how many cheeseburgers you're eating I don't care how many you know McDonald's fries milkshakes whatever until your body gets what it needs the components it needs for health you will never be satisfied so um let's just talk about first of all I have two little things to tell you a lot of times people get sidetracked on this. Uh, am I getting my nutritional requirements? And I, am I getting, it's funny because it'll be people that last week were eating, I don't know, chicken legs that 99.9% .9 of all of them have maggots embedded in them. And when they're put in the fry cookers um, or soaked in their saline solution to pump them up, the maggots are dead, hello, but you're eating them. It's disgusting. Look that up on the inter internet. You'll never eat another chicken leg again. But that wasn't the point. The point was, it's a lot of times those kind of people that want to nitpick you to death. Here's the thing. If you eat two heads of romaine lettuce in a day, you get all your nutritional fat requirements needed. You wouldn't think the lettuce had fat in it, would you? Well, you know, it's just like... um when people ask about your protein, well, it's because they're ignorant. People are ignorant and they don't know what they're talking about. Just like um, where do cows get their protein? They get it from grass. Where do gorillas get their protein? I mean, there's other things happening besides just meat and dairy. But again, not the point. I'm going to come to you in a few videos with some breakdown of, of nutritional requirements and where you're getting them from your uh, fresh, ripe, raw plant food. But back to the juicing versus blending. Juicing is when you take your fruits and vegetables and you run them through the juicer, which is a, a machine that ta separates the liquid from the fiber in the plants. Now. When it does this, the liquid comes out one side and the fiber comes out another, out the other side. Hold on, I'm trying to get my boy to come down here. He won't like that. Oh, there he is walking. Oh no, I'm in trouble. <laughs> he does not like that. So anyway, um, what happens is you throw away the fiber and you get the liquid. What's the benefit in that? The benefit is this. Hey, Christopher. If you are a person with an impaired digestive tract and you have a hard time assimilating the nutrients in your body and you're having maybe iron deficiency or you're having, maybe you have IBS, you have Crohn's, a lot of things like that, it is a nutritional power punch right into the cells, a cell infusion of nutrients. Your body does not have to work to get them. On the same note, <coughs> it is a quick infusion and it can create instability in blood sugar and blood levels, um, blood sugar levels if you are not careful and you don't consume enough. It depends on what you're eating it, drinking it with. Um, but I do think there is a time and place for juicing, and juicing healed me over the years. And I used to spend a lot of time, this is another thing, time consuming, juicing about 75 ounces of, of juice every morning before work. I spent about 45 minutes doing it, and I toted that to work every day for years, and, and eventually healed myself. 
Um, it's also very expensive because it takes a massive amount of produce to produce that much juice every day. You also have, like I said, the time component. You also have the cleaning up aspect. It takes longer to clean it up. Now, on the other hand, on your smoothies is when you take a blender, preferably high speed blender, and you're going to put your produce in there and it's going to emulsify it to a point that it breaks down the cell walls of the plants. When it does that, the body is, it's much easier for the body to assimilate that. Can you, did you sit on that um, pink thing? No, uh, Can you take that into the bank for me up here? Sorry. Okay, so when you're having your, your smoothies, the, the key to being able to digest those is every time you take a drink, think of it as a bite. You're going to put your fruits and vegetables in the blender, preferably fruits and greens or vegetables and greens. That's what digests the most easily when those are together. Now, every time you take a drink of your smoothie, you don't just gulp that back. You need to chew it as if each bite is a mouthful of food that, that is not already, you know, liquefied. If you do that, then the saliva in your mouth is going to mix with each bite, each drink rather, and you're going to have those digestive enzymes to break that down in your system. This is what you need. So a person, so then you go to clean up the blender. It's very quick and easy. The important thing to remember, especially if this is something you're trying to help somebody else with, is what is it? Um, are they actually going to do it? Does it actually fit into their lifestyle? And people will blend up a, a juice drink, of, you know, especially some greens and fruit that tastes just like a fruit smoothie. They'll do that, and they'll wash that out, and it's not that expensive, and they'll do that. And then they're getting their, their raw, you know, plant food. This is what we want. So, you know, we have to get past this thinking of, well, you know, Dan the man does juicing, you know. Freely says, did you smoothie yourself? Did you, you know what, are you getting the plant material you need for your body to thrive? That's my question. And, you know, we need to start embracing all the, the healthy components of this lifestyle and not breaking other people down. I, I just, it makes me so sad. But, I mean, you know, ladies face it. Dan the man and Harley together, they're like the perfect man, right? So... You know, we don't need to hate on it either. <laughs> so, what else did I want to tell you about that? Um, that may be it, but, you know, I want to come to you soon talking about some vitamin K, talking about iodine, talking about the fat ratios, omega, omega 6, 9, and 3, and where to get those and what ratios you need for perfect health. Um, but... On, on the, the juicing versus smoothies, you know, just pack the pack the produce in, pack the, the raw plant food in, and do it in a way that you can get it and it works best for you. So, I hope this helped y'all. Thanks. Bye.